Saturday night again, and time to try another whiskey. I've got, um, first of all, i got to keep hydrated, so I might as well pour some water into my glass. Seems that corks are tighter when you put water in the bottle than when you put whiskey. This should taste really nice. This bottle used to contain some five-year-old 90. That's a 90 proof corn whiskey, which on the label says rye, but it's 100% corn and it's from uh, Highwood. So that gives it a nice little flavor. While we're on the subject of Canadian whiskey, I have here uh, some sample bottles of uh, Danfield's Private Reserve 10-year-old, bottled at 40%. These were, um, four of them were donated by Sneerson. And um, this is essentially uh, whiskey made by the same people in Lethbridge, Alberta, who make um, Black Velvet, which is a, another good Canadian whiskey. They also make Shenley's Golden Wedding, but this here is a step up because it has a 10-year age statement. So Danfield's 10 years old, made by uh, the distillers in Lethbridge, Alberta. I think I might as well pour uh, a quick size dram. And right now I'm stone cold sober. I haven't had a thing to drink yet. This is the beginning of my flight for this Saturday night. And let's pour one, that's about 25 mils or so. Let's uh, make it a quick sized round by pouring two. I still have two more of these, so I uh, hope I get the right one. Yeah, this is the right one. Danfield's Private Reserve, 10 years old. Um, I don't know much about it, except that it's a step up. I think I said that already from the other expression, the black velvet, which is a nice, you know, uh, for, for something that's not too expensive. Black velvet is quite nice. I th got some, a bit of a sherry flavor from the uh, black velvet. I think they may have used, uh, put a little bit of sherry in there or some kind of wine finish or even poured some wine right into the whiskey. It has... It, uh, Alberta Premium has done the same thing with Dark Horse, where 90% of the whiskey is Canadian rye, and 9% of it is bourbon, and 1% is sherry, making it quite unique. Well, let's see. Let's get some coating on the sides of the glass here. It's 40%, so it, I don't expect it to be extremely viscous, but you know, these legs are holding on for quite a while before they start to tumble down. I don't know if you can see that there. But they were holding a while before they started tumbling down. And they're coming down slowly. Huh. Not extremely slowly, but slowly for a 40%. Ah. I'm getting a bit of rye. Yeah. De definitely some rye. quite pungent rye, so it's probably quite a high rye content. I think along with that rye, wow, 
think there's some vanilla too. Rye vanilla. Corn. Like corn husks. Smells just like corn husks. It's opening up now. My first first inhalation, I got pretty well nothing, and then it started to open up, it started to come out a little bit. <coughs> mm. Rye corn. What is that other thing I'm getting? It's It's almost like, like wet grass, like hay, and it's like a wet, um, my uncle had a compost pile, and he used to throw all kinds of things from his garden onto this compost pile, not the least of which was a uh, cuttings from his uh, from the from the grass and there were some piles and piles of cutting from the grass because he had a huge lawn and you know the grass would be raked up and taken in a wheelbarrow and thrown onto this compost pile and so there's some kind of a vegetal also herbal note to it the herb is like um, chamomile, but quite intense. This thing is changing as it goes. Chamomile and compost pile. Vegetal compost pile. Um, and it just says... Danfield's private reserve. Hmm. Am I getting anything else besides that? Just that herbal, vegetal, slightly rotten but not in a bad way. Yeah, chamomile, a lot of chamomile. Vanilla. Vanilla pudding. Complex enough nose. What else am I getting? Is that herbal vegetal thing and some rye, a bit of vanilla, maybe some caramel under that? I don't know. I'm gonna have to taste it, see what we get. Oh. There is a ton of flavor here. And this is bottled only at 40%. Wow. Wow, it tingles. It tingles on the tongue. And it's tingly. Very intense flavor. This is one of the more intensely favored flavored 40% Canadian whiskeys I've ever seen. And um, it's definitely a premium article at 10 year, 10 year old. And it's a real pity and a shame that I can't find this on the shelf here. I would like the whole bottle. Wow. Okay, once again, nosing, we're getting that, that herbal vegetal. There's some rye. Wow. 
wonder what kind of wood they used. Maybe it was a virgin oak because there's a lot of spice. A lot of spice in here. Quite chewy for something at 40%. And high rye. High rye. This is really good. This is quite, quite interesting. There's some corn whiskey in it, but a lot of rye. It reminds me a little bit of Weiser's a legacy, but it's more vegetal than Weiser's legacy, if that makes any kind of sense. Wow. That, uh, rotten vegetable thing is slowly morphing towards a rye bread. Wow. Yeah, there's some corn in there, but a lot of rye. I'm sure it's a lot of rye. A lot of flavor here. And the amount of flavor that I'm getting makes me think that it's a lot. It could be 43 or 45 percent alcohol by volume easily by what it tastes like. Nice. Nice. Oh, wait. There's even a bit of a salty note on the aftertaste. Very interesting. Oh, man, this is good. This is very good. Very, very, very good. I am really thrilled with this. Just like just like Black Velvet is nice to drink and, and uh, Shenley's Golden Wedding is nice too. This has an extra kick, extra strong rye punch to it. Mm. Wow. Ah. Now I'm getting the full benefit of the nose. Mm. Yeah, it's a shame we can't get this in BC, or if we could, I've never seen it. Anyway, uh, cheers and to your very good health. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>